So here's the Pursuit series cases from Autobox, the toughest and slimmest cases for your iPhone. Well, I met from Droid Tech, and let's check this out. So if you haven't subscribed to Droid Tech already, hit that subscribe button at the bottom and enable notifications so that you can get notified of my latest content. So I would like to thank Autobox Malaysia for sending me your unit to actually try it out and give my unbiased thoughts about it to you guys. So I'd like to take a tour around the box. So taking a look at the front of the box, we actually have the Autobox logo right on the top left and a sticker showing that the case is meant for the iPhone 10 as well as the Pursuit Series logo in the center. And on the bottom left, we actually have the Autobox Certified Drop Protection. So moving along to the rear of the case, we actually have the six features of the case, which is ultra thin design, ultimate drop protection, dust, mud, dirt, snow protection, direct screen access, which means there's no inbuilt screen protector, enhanced audio, as well as integrated lanyard. So that's about it for the packaging. Let's open the box and see what the contents are. So taking out the case is as easy as sliding out the compartment. So on the top, you actually get the case itself as well as included lanyard. At the bottom of the box, we also have the warranty information. And that's it for the box contents. So taking a look at the inside of the case, we actually see a foam lining surrounding the border of the front piece, which prevents dirt and debris from getting into your phone. Next up, you have the audio rerouting channels, which are also protected by foam. Now taking a look at the sides and around the case, we actually see a rib design. This is made of TPU material, which actually absorbs the impact pretty well in drops. So it prevents your foam from getting scratched up when it's inside the case. Now taking a look at the back portion of the case, we also see the same foam inlays, which prevents dust and dirt from getting into the clear back of your case from the camera cut out. So moving to installation portion of this video, it is very easy to install the case, I would say, but taking apart the case is quite a pain as uh, you actually have to use a coin and it's pretty tough to take off and I wouldn't recommend taking it off often as uh, the clips might get worn out. So basically when you install the phone in the case, you basically want to give your phone a good shine, good clean up, make sure there's no dust or debris on your phone itself. For me, I feel the best way to actually install the phone in the case is actually to flip the mute switch to mute and slotting the phone in on the volume side first. Then snapping on the back is pretty easy, pretty straightforward, if, especially if you've used a life proof case in the past. So once you have the phone installed, you're good to go. So taking a tour around the case, on the front, you have the big cutout for your screen, as well as two small grills for your microphone and the speaker. On the bottom of the case, you have the flap which covers your lightning port, as well as a hole for attaching your lanyard. On the left side, you have the toggle for the mute switch, as well as your volume up and down buttons. On the right side of the case, you actually have the power button. Taking a tour on the back of the case, you actually have the generous cutout for your dual camera setup and your flash. As well as on the bottom, you have the Autobox branding. And I'm actually impressed with the build quality. Say so even if I were to drop this phone by accident, I wouldn't have to worry about the phone getting damaged at all. The case doesn't affect the camera quality in any way. Besides the power button being harder to press, I would say the other buttons are actually quite tactile. I'm still not used to the ring mute toggle switch right here on the case. I feel it's a bit stiff as compared to the actual iPhone, but for me, it's not a big deal as I use assistive touch most of the time. So I think overall, this case is an excellent case. More so if you're like me and hit scratches on your case, you should definitely should get the black model. Of course, the price is a bit hefty as you're going to pay above 300 ringgits for a case like this. If I were you and I'm going to spend almost 300 ringgit on a Defender, I would prefer to get the Pursuit series as this Pursuit series is actually way more comfortable to hold, less bulky, easier to put in my pocket. And if you're thinking, oh, this case is too expensive for me, I wouldn't spend over 300 ringgit for a cell phone case. Well, then you can get the Symmetry case, which provides only drop protection. I've used the Symmetry case for, for a while now and I think it's the best slim protective case for any device in general. I have it for my Note 8, I have it for my S7 Edge, I have it for now even the iPhone 10. And so if you're looking to purchase the Autobox Pursuit, I will leave the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel as it will really help me out. As you know, YouTube actually changed their policy and um, I guess I'm not within that quota yet. But nevertheless, that wouldn't stop me from making videos for you guys as I really enjoy doing this and I've been passionate for tech since I was a kid. So I guess this is my dream job. So I really appreciate you guys supporting me and helping me out. So that's all for today. Like this video if you did like it. Thanks for watching. Take care and peace out.